Hey guys, um, so I wanted to share something. Um, I've had to, I had a dream and I've had a vision. And in both of them, I saw Jesus. And I'm sharing this because I really believe that God or Jesus, even though they're the same person, I believe that he wants us to really have a serious relationship with him so that he can show himself to us and be able to talk to us and just walk us through life, you know? And so I just wanted to come on here and just tell you my dream and tell you the vision that I had. And these are the only two times that I've actually seen him. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into the story. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the dream first. Um, now that I think about it, I've actually had... I've actually had three encounters with Jesus. And if you watched the other video where I was talking about what I believe was Judgment Day, that was like the first time that I saw Jesus. Um, so in this first dream, um, or second dream, in my second dream, I was in like a lecture hall, like a college lecture hall where there's like a bunch of um, like rows of seats and desks. So I was in a lecture hall. I honestly, I wasn't sure if it was college or if I was in like, if I was at work, um, but I was sitting next to this huge window. And so I looked outside and I remember the clouds were looking really funny. They just look really weird. And the clouds start like spinning in a circle. Um, kind of looked like a portal was opening. And um, so I was just sitting there. I, I got up and I walked to the window. I walked to the window and I saw a man and he was on a cloud and I just knew it was Jesus like he was super far away but I just knew it was him like like my soul knew it was him so yeah I knew it was him um and I started screaming there's Jesus there's Jesus like I wanted everybody to come to the window and they did like a bunch of people came to the window and they're looking and Jesus came and it was like like a flash like he came to me so fast like he came to the window so fast and I couldn't really make out I couldn't really see his face um and so he was he came to the window and he was on a cloud and he stepped off the cloud and walked through the window and when he walked through the window he turned into a human and he was like a completely like from what i saw outside of the window to when he walked into the window he completely changed into like a completely different person and i saw him do that and so when he walked through the window everybody is still looking outside so they're looking outside he's already in the building and so he walks past everyone and he sits down in uh, like at a desk or in a chair he sits down and i'm like looking at him and i'm looking at everyone else i'm just like do they not see him sitting right here like i was confused because everybody saw what i saw when he was outside 
of the window but when he walked in nobody saw him like nobody recognized him but i knew i recognized him i knew who it was and so i'm just like is anybody gonna ask him questions like is anyone going to talk to him like i was just like confused and so i walked up to him and you know i didn't say anything and he was just like looking around kind of like he was just watching everybody just watching them he didn't say anything he was just watching everybody and just looking around and it was kind of like he was studying them he was just studying people and then he got up and then he walked back to the window and then as he walked through the window he turned into a different like the original i want to say it's probably his spirit like he turned into a different person or his spiritual or his glorified body and he went back on the cloud and then he disappeared and i didn't know i still don't really know what that dream means but that was the second time that I saw him. Now, the most recent time that I saw him, um, I was praying. And as I was praying, I was sitting on my bed. And I started hearing this voice. And it sounded like a little kid. But I knew it was me. Like the voice sounded like me, but like me as a child or like me as a toddler. And I heard myself talking and I heard myself saying, there's Jesus, there's Jesus, there's Jesus. Like I was just so excited. Like I heard my voice, there's Jesus, there's Jesus. And I start crying and I close my eyes and I close my eyes and I saw a huge field and the sky was like the sun was setting and the field was full of flowers and the next thing I know I was holding on to Jesus's leg like I was a child like a little kid like holding my my heavenly father's leg just hugging him and he was just so like just his presence and just him was just so warm just the love that I felt was I don't even have words to explain it. But I looked up as I'm holding his leg. I looked up and I couldn't see his face. It was just so bright. Like I could see his legs going up and then it was just so bright. I couldn't see his face. I just saw just brightness. And I remember thinking, I don't ever want to leave here. I want to stay here forever. And then I opened my eyes and I was back here. And I just cried and cried and... <sighs> that was the most recent time that I saw him, but I've seen him three times. And I really believe the closer we get to God, you know, the more that he shows himself through dreams and through visions. And, you know, when I had that vision, I just felt like I'm not worthy to see him. I just start feeling like I'm not worthy to see him. Not that I'm in sin or doing anything crazy, but I just felt like, wow, like, wow.
Like again, just words don't, can't even explain it. But I'm wanting to come on and share this because I want everybody to experience that. I want everybody to be able to see their Heavenly Father, you know, with their own eyes. Maybe in a dream, maybe in a vision, I don't know. But I just want everyone to experience that because it's life-changing. And it makes you want to just keep going because you want to be with him for eternity. You know, when you actually see him, you will literally do anything to be there with him again. Be where you're supposed to be, you know, in your rightful home. Because this place is not our home. And it makes you think of all your choices. Everything that you do here on earth. But seeing him and feeling his presence. Being able to hug him. I want to be able to do that for eternity. I want to be with him for eternity. So that's why I do the things that I do now. That's why I'm bold. And I try to equip myself spiritually with fasting, praying, read the word, you know, everything that I can. Because I want to be with my Heavenly Father when I pass away, when I leave this earth. I want to be with him. And you can be with him. You can feel that warmth. You can feel that love that we can't even, we can't even understand. But just the feeling, the love that he gives us. It's so worth living my life here on earth for him. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. So I don't want to keep ranting, <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and if you have prayer requests or if you're wanting to turn your life around, like seriously, reach out to me and I'll help you the best that I can. We can do Bible study and all of that. You know, I'll pray with you, pray for you. So feel free to reach out to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later.